back to my game's devlog where we left off I was trying to add character models to the AI. I've managed to fix the character models but they keep falling over for some reason. I can shoot them which applies a small force but they can get back up if they fall down. The foot collider was off so the characters kept losing their balance. I managed to get some really awful animations working for the AI, but I've spent so long working on them that I'm done for the day. One eternity later. I got the animations to a state that I'm happy with, so now I want to spice up the effects a little bit. I'm making a muzzle flash using the VFX graph from a tutorial that I'll link in the description. The effect looks nice in action, but it, you know, not perfect, but good for my first time. But there is an issue. I added some recoil to the gun to make it feel a little bit better, and I like the way that it looks a lot. I need to add a way for the recoil to affect my aim. Right now it's only visual. I wanted to see what shooting would be like without raycast, so I made projectiles. But I also added a system so that if the camera is pointing directly to an object, so would the weapon. I didn't like how it looked or worked, so I went back to raycasting for now. I finally got around to adding some sound effects, one for shooting and one for hit markers. I added a quick graphic for the hit marker. The enemies can shoot me now, but it's kinda buggy. I can also die. If you like my video, please subscribe, it'll help me out a bunch. As well, um, follow me on social media, I post regular updates, and I would love for people to reach out, offer advice, ask questions, anything. I created a new map real quick to see how the new AI interacts with it. The animations were awful with the nav mesh, and they kept trying to go into the walls. After a long time, I was able to fix the turning animations, and it looks much better. I added a health bar, for obvious reasons, as well as an impact sound effect. I didn't want the enemies to laser me, so I created a bullet spread effect. To test it, I disabled my health and randomized the values. I eventually got it to a value I liked, and I also added some damage markers. I added some impact effects, but for some reason the decals won't appear. They only work in the scene view, so I have to figure that out. I added another map in order to see if the game is actually fun, or if I wasted the last six years of my life. <laughs> It's fun. Lots of edits to be made, you know, of course, but it's a promising start. I added a weapon switching feature so I could have multiple guns. I still need gun models, but it works for now. I wanted the guns to overheat in lieu of having to reload, so I added a heat bar and split the current status to the left. So that goes all the way up, and it goes all the way to the top, it's overheated, you cannot shoot. And then slowly it'll come back. I've been wanting to make a character creator forever, so I finally got around to making one. I've been using the assets from the Sinti space pack to help me get started. Right now the customization scene isn't porting over to the player model, but it will soon. Right now, you can manually edit your character. So I can go up here and I can just like turn this on, turn this off, and then we got the regular player character. I like, want to do like a female robot, you know? I can do that. So through code, through menus, I can go and make that um, a lot better looking. But uh, right now, that's what we have. Like, it's really cool. I really like that a lot. To put all the pieces together, I created one final map that's more arena based to kind of test out all the features that I want to experiment with going forward. Um, I'm just going to show you how the game operates, a little bit of gameplay, and let me know how you like it. I'll see you next week.